Richard? Here yeah, comes the tape. Off Watch it. George Martin was rarely seen with the Beatles, but he sure was heard, crafting their sound on all but one album. He once told the CBC how he did it. I think the essence of, of a good director or a good record producer is to get inside the mind of the person and try and find out what they're looking for themselves. Trained in classical music, then producing comedy records, right, dead, great, both of us together. Martin was a rock and roll rookie, but his background gave the Beatles' music depth, like that string arrangement on Paul McCartney's Yesterday. Love was such an easy game to play. They don't know actually how important he was. Ray Connolly often interviewed the band and worked with Martin himself. He knew everything about, about classical music, and the Beatles knew everything about rock and roll music. Together, marriage made in heaven. It wasn't an instant match, though. The Beatles auditioned for Martin in 1962 here at the famed Abbey Road Studios. He wasn't impressed at first, but liked their charisma, so he thought he'd give them a shot. I know you. Working on their first album, Martin famously told the Beatles to play faster. Come on, come on. He heard the result and predicted Please Please Me would be their first number one hit. And it was. Oh, yeah, I got We'd never been in the studio, so we did a lot of learning together. He had a very great musical knowledge and background. Martin may be best known for his work with the Fab Four, but he also made music with everyone from Elton John to Celine Dion, producing more number one hits than anyone else. Ten years ago, Martin and his son reworked Beatles songs for the Cirque du Soleil performance, Love. At Abbey Road today, fans laid flowers and wrote messages in Martin's memory. What he was doing behind the scenes was so huge, so massive, that, uh, yeah, it's, it's upset me. I'm sure it's upset a lot of other people. We have the Beatles now because of this one man. I know I'll often stop Martin's family says he died last night at his home. He was 90. Ringo Starr was the first to share the news, tweeting, God bless George Martin. Today, Paul McCartney said if anyone earned the title of fifth Beatle, it was George. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, London.